What's up, Bodyweight Warriors, and welcome back to another video, another follow along. Today, I've got a quick shoulder flexibility routine that's going to look at opening the shoulders through a full range of motion, perfect as a warm up or a cool down if you need a little bit of flexibility. Let's not mess about, let's just jump straight into it. We're going to start off, and you can be seated on your knees, you can be standing on a chair, doesn't really matter. We're looking at the shoulders. We're going to do some shoulder rotations. So you're going to lift first into internal rotation. Arms bent to 90 degrees, shoulders back and down. We're going to rotate as wide as we can, pulling the hands back. Reach up overhead. Back down to 90. Rotate as far as we can and back down. So that's one rep. We're just going to do 10 of these. This is sort of a warm up more than anything. But as we do it, we also want to try and think about pulling that shoulder as far back into in external rotation. And as we rotate, keeping the shoulder down, pulling it as far down into internal rotation as well. So 10 in total, all the way up, straight arms overhead. And we're just gonna get some movement in the shoulders initially. So far back into external rotation, keep the shoulders down as you rotate, back in. And as you reach overhead, try to go as open as you can with the shoulders as well. So another few more here. Cool as you can. Last one. Should feel a little bit of a burn on that rotator cuff in the shoulders now. Let's get things warmed up. And we're gonna actually move onto the floor and we're gonna work at opening the pecs. So lying face down at the ground. We're gonna take our arms to that same 90 degree position and I'm gonna rotate my left leg round onto my right arm. I'm gonna try and push my right shoulder down to the ground. I'm gonna feel a stretch over the chest on this right hand side. So as far as you want to pull this foot round, that's going to increase the intensity of the stretch. Add a bit of a twist. We're going to perform two reps of PNF. So I'm going to try and press this arm down to the ground. I'm going to hold for about five seconds, building up the effort. So five, four, three, two, one. And exhale and try and twist round a little bit more. I'm going to do one more of those. So we're going to really try and build up the contraction, pressing my right hand the elbow down is the ground, feeling the pec work. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, try to rotate a little bit further. Should feel a good stretch over the pec in this position. Potentially going down into the bicep as well. I'm gonna hold for another five seconds. And we're simply gonna rotate and move on to the other side. Perfect, so same 90 degree position. Left arm comes out, shoulder at 90. Over to 90, swing that right hip round, get a good twist, and then feel that stretch over the pec. And again, we're gonna perform two reps of that pin up. So try to press the hand, the elbow down as the ground, feel the pec working. Five, four, progressively press harder. Three, two, one. Exhale and try and twist a little bit further around. So we're gonna do one more here. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, building up the effort, one, exhale, try to twist a little bit further. Again, looking for that good stretch over the pec, so down into the front of the shoulder. I'm gonna hold for another five seconds here. Perfect, we're gonna come up now into what would be a cat position. So we're gonna have shoulders placed around shoulder width overhead on the knees. I'm just gonna try and sink the chest down into the ground. We're gonna let the torso arch and try to think about keeping the arm straight, pulling the sternum down towards the ground. I'm gonna hold for a second and then we're gonna try and actually arch the back but keep pulling the shoulders down but try to pull the sternum in. So basically moving slightly arched position Followed, and then we allow, we breathe in, and allow the spine to extend. Do five of these nice and slowly with your breath. So as we exhale, we're gonna pull the sternum in, try to round, press tall through the shoulders. And then we're gonna inhale, let the chest sink. Perfect, three more. Exhale, 
Lift the chest up, round the shoulders. Inhale. Drop the sternum as low as you can. Two more. Down as much as possible, last one. Inhale, try to pull that sternum down into the floor. Exhale. And we round. For this position, we're gonna spin ourselves over into what would be a tabletop position. So again, hands at shoulder width, arms are gonna be straight. We're gonna push down into the floor, keep the shoulders back and down. We're gonna lift the hips as high as we can, feeling a stretch over the bicep, and come back down. We're gonna perform five of these, again, holding for a few seconds in that top position. Make sure you keep the arms locked. And this top position, really push away from the floor. Try to like pull the shoulder blades back and together and open up the chest. Three more. If you want to make this a little bit more intense, you're going to try in the top position, shift the knees forward so we pull the shoulders into more of a stretch. And the last one here, we're just going to hold for 10 seconds in this top position. So squeeze the glutes, push the hips up and through, push the shoulder blades down and back. Feel the stretch. This is primarily over the front of the shoulder and the bicep. Three, two, one. And then finally, we're going to finish up with another rotational drill. We're going to slip ourselves back over. Very similar position to what we had beforehand in the cat pose. We're going to take the right hand and we're going to thread that right hand as far through as we can, trying to rotate as far as we can with our, with our thoracic spine. And basically just keep crawling this right hand as far out of that direction as you can do. But keep the hips nice and planted over. Don't try to lean over into it. Try to stay very central. Pull the shoulder down towards the ground. And just keep walking the hand over. We're just gonna hold this one 30 seconds each side. So we've already about halfway there. Another 15 seconds. Keep trying to move a little bit deeper into it. Three, two, one. Bring the hand back and through. Right hand comes down, left arm goes through. Same thing again. I'm gonna keep the hips nice and over the knees. I'm gonna try and just walk that left hand as far through as we can. Take a nice deep breath. Try to think about breathing into the chest. Try to expand the rib cage. And then as you exhale, try to walk that hand a little further over. Just another, another 10 seconds now. Perfect. And that is basically the nice, short, quick shoulder mobility routine, moving the shoulders through a full range of motion to warm up, cool down, wherever you have time to add it in. Other than that, happy stretching. Catch you in the next one.